Goku vs. Superman 3. By death battle. Now one that no one, well, uh, some people wanted out there probably, we don't know. The one that some people wanted, and some, and there's some that some people didn't want any, at all. Oh man, to think I didn't think they'd be doing it third time around. Makes me a question though. Why would they be doing it third time around? I don't know. Maybe just because everyone's got new power ups now. Well, Goku's got new power ups now, making him more stronger than ever. And Superman's well, Superman. He's got his buffs. He's got his nerfs now. Man, a lot's changed in the past couple of years since they did the last one. Yeah, and I still remember reacting to the one from eight eight years ago back in 2015, huh? <sighs> oh shit. Here we go again. Yeah, I'm never gonna let that one down. Yep, it might be one of my most viewed videos ever, but it was also my most disliked video ever. <sighs> uh, high school me was a lot different back then. Well, because I, I, I solely believe Goku would beat Superman, right? Back then, yeah, definitely. Now, over time, I've come to realize, okay, in some aspects, that is true. <laughs> depending, depending on which versions you're talking about, right, with Superman. So, if you want to go more technical, like, I remember watching uh, Cartoon Fight Club's uh, videos on Goku versus Superman 2. So, they, because they did it too, they did New 52 Superman against Goku. And that, in, in that version, Goku won. Because New 52 Superman is a lot weaker, and let's be honest, he kind of sucks, doesn't he? But, but that's, that's the thing, I was like, ah, okay, so I see what you mean, it depends on which version you're, of Superman you're using. Okay, if it was Silver Age Superman, I was like, who's probably the most OP version of Superman ever, then yeah, he ain't winning that one. <laughs> because the thing was Death Battle, right, they like to composite everyone's feet, uh, every, composite that one character's feet all into one, for the most part. The issue was Death Battle, however... They are very inconsistent on doing that. <laughs> Biggest example being Megatron versus Frieza. Or f because, you know, while they did everything for Frieza, they didn't composite all of the, everything that Megatron was capable of. Because the one thing I didn't like, they didn't include everything in IDW. They didn't include the fact that he fought, like, you know, made the gods of the Transformers multiverse properly. They didn't even include Unicron Trilogy uh, Megatron, who was also very powerful. Didn't many people realize? I mean, the man almost, uh, he almost defeated Primus, or could have killed Primus, honestly, in, this, in Cybertron, who is basically, you know, the god of this, the Transformers multiverse. So, saying that's, tell, will tell you a lot, and they didn't really use his full feat in that, in that fight against Frieza. And this is coming from someone like me, I totally think Megatron should have won if they totally composited all his feats. Like, but nah, they didn't. <laughs> That's what I mean. Sometimes they are very inconsistent and leave stuff out. And they'll say, why did you leave the stuff out? I was like, I was like, that's kind of bullshit, though. Let's be honest here. So that's why I'll still watch that battle. But I think they've lost a lot of credibility over the years. Like I said, the biggest one being Ben Tennant versus Green Lantern. But while well, I still watch, yeah, I just don't react as much as I used to anymore. Like I said, I don't, I don't think they, they're very accurate. They do, they, they've been called out at times, so it's how, how inaccurate, or they miss some things, and sometimes the research is bit of, pretty horrible. But is there some accuracy to it? I think so. Not for every fight, but they do miss some things, but there's some interpretation, because, you know, power scaling is always going to be a debate throughout time in, in you know, in, fa in, the fa in fanboys. So, yeah, biggest example being Seth, Seth the Programmer. We don't talk about him anymore, but... Anyways, so yeah, I'm really curious how they're going to do this one, though. I'm surprised. This one's only 26 minutes long, which I'm surprised about. I would think for being the third one and being very special, and it's been like eight years since the last one they did, I think they would have at least done something more grand or grandiose or bigger, at least. In my opinion, like they did with the first one and the second one, probably. <laughs> Excuse me. But I wonder what they're going to narrow it down to, but... Well, of course, from the teaser, we're obviously going to get Ultra Instinct Goku in this fight, so that's going to be pretty dope. Uh, who do I think is going to win this one? If they're going to composite, like, composite everyone like I think they do? If they like to be consistent, man. Yeah, Superman's winning this one, no doubt about it. I do think Superman might win this one if they're going to composite everything, including Silver Age. Yeah. 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 Well, if they did someone else, yeah, Goku would probably win. Superman? Oh, yeah. No doubt that he's gonna win this soon. He's won all his past ones, but I, I want to know how this one's gonna turn out. Is it gonna be epic? Probably. 
the result's kind of obvious if they like if they're gonna composite every aspect of Superman in here. But anyways, <laughs> just saying because we know it's if you know it's true. I'm not afraid to man at this point. I do like Goku, and I like Superman. Who do I like more? Well, Goku, of course, but yeah. But no doubt about it, they're going to deposit to every version of Superman with all his OP feats. Except my adventures to Superman version. That one, that one's a bit weird. He seems great, but he seems a bit nerfed to more than others. I wonder where they're going to go with, that, with him eventually in the later seasons for, in that in that show. He's, get, he's got some sort of power-up, anime type of power-up, that we're eventually going to see. But I don't know. That's for that's for that's a sto that's a topic for another time. But right now we're talking about Goku versus Superman again after eight years from Death Battle. So I can't wait to see what's going to be in store for us here. And after a very lengthy intro, because why not? This has been a long way to thing to talk about. I mean, you could tell from my background. I do like Goku. See, here's him with the coming to my hiding, the Death Star, and the other one there's UI. If my thing could zoom in properly. UI Goku versus Thanos. So, yeah. I, I'm a huge Goku guy. One, uh, Dragon Ball may not be one of the greatest animes, written-wise, but st still iconic, and I still like it for what it is. Gives me motivation. But in any case, without any further ado, let's see how this analyzation is going to turn out, and let's see how this fight's going to turn out. Will it be dope? I hope it will be, at least. But in any case, I'm finally going to shut up, and watch the video. So without any further ado, it's reaction time. I need a better intro for this. Alright. Fight! <laughs> nice intro. That one looks like it was based on Goku, Superman. Those two it's time to answer the, the ultimate intro. question, and we're taking it all into play. We're examining Superman's extensive mainline comic book canon. Main Given Dragon Ball Super's contentious continuities, we'll include all three just to be thorough, plus Dragon Ball Heroes. He's with. We're so we're gonna include Zeno Goku. Okay. Even yeah, even then, probably not enough. But I'm Boomstick, and it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a, a death, death battle. battle. Let's see. Far away, in an enchanted land, an old master found a boy and marveled at his uncommon strength. This is the story right. of Son, Son Goku. Goku. Chances yep. are, if you've watched some localized anime, you can thank this guy. Inspired yeah. by <laughs> martial arts films and his wife's interest in Chinese culture, Akira Toriyama crafted the story I and the character about that, that would thing. define generations to come. Dragon Ball! Uh, Dragon Ball. Kakarot was born a low-class Saiyan on the planet there. Vegeta, narrowly escaped its destruction by Frieza, and was raised on Earth by happy old Grandpa Gohan. Uh, not just raised, but trained. Gohan began Goku's teaching in martial arts, which he would find to be his true calling under the guidance of Master Roshi. Specifically, he learned the Kame Senen Ryu style, which focuses on discipline and tenacity, both of which strongly define Goku's character. The more he yeah. learned, the more he wanted to improve. This little low-class monkey boy would prove that hard work and dedication can beat raw talent. Within just a few years, he was so strong, the only the worthy teachers left real. were gods and a talking cat, but mostly God. <laughs> when you're training to dodge lightning, well, you know back you're then, a when few over gods. everyone else. He did have a slight advantage. Saiyans are Which naturally was? superhuman. They also oh, take Nietzsche's yeah. famous words, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger, In very, which case, very literally. That's it's what happened with Saiyans. It's almost unfair how much of a boost yeah. in power they get after they're hurt. While Saiyans mm -hmm. like Vegeta may have abused this trait, it suits Goku. No Can't matter how him, many though. times you knock him down, he will get back up stronger than before. It helps that he knows so many cool combat moves, like the Kamehameha, Kamehameha. an incredibly powerful technique that focuses one's key into a... No, now that I think about it, though, even though he's the most iconic one for that, for using Kamehameha, it's, it is Master Roshi's technique. I do wish... I really wish they would have gained, give Goku his own technique that he created. That would have been nice, at least. Like his own original that came out of nowhere, instead of like combining ones. Like, you know how you use Kylo Ken with Super Saiyan and stuff? But, you know, you know what I mean. I wish he would... Can I... Well, canonically speaking, I'm not sure Jag, if the Dragon Fist is his own technique. I don't f remember if it was. But, yeah, I just wish he had his own can, can, his own canon technique that he created. Instead of, you know, taking others. Which is the point, unfortunately. Which is a sad. That would make Goku a lot more cooler, too. 
Give him his own kick technique, man. Give him his own technique. It'd be great. Maybe we'll get one in Daima. Who knows? Single point for a devastating beam. So challenging, it took Roshi decades to master, but Goku got it in like five seconds. It's incredibly yeah. versatile, with over 50 different variations. Yeah, he, yeah here's the, here's all of them. After Mitch, Atomus Ultra Instinct, still a dumb name. Destructo Disc, Dragon Fist, Energy Landmine, Evil, evil that's the Mafuba, Fusion Dance, God, Godbine. Hey, since when did he know Hak When did he know Hakai? I didn't even know he knew that one. Unless it wasn't a manga. I didn't read the manga, so I don't know. And, yeah, and Kaioken, yeah. And none of these are his own techniques, unfortunately. To my knowledge. Yeah. Seriously wish this man had his own technique. Please. Please. Get, let him create one. Or give him one to create by... That's his own original. Please. <laughs> that's what we need. For example, Goku can curve the beam after firing, or even shoot it from his feet. But unlike most Saiyans, he doesn't just use Ki to blow shit up. Moves like the Solar Flare, Energy Landbind, and Godbind require a lot more strategy and planning. Because while Goku yeah. isn't exactly book smart, he is no, a genius not. when it comes to martial arts. He he's doesn't just train genius, to conquer basically. his opponents, but to conquer himself. He's also got some different moves, like trapping you in a rice cooker. The well, Mothaba. pretty much any <laughs> container could be used for the Mothma yeah. ceiling technique. Then there's Kaioken, sure. a.k.a. Kaioken. Instant Steroids. Goku's multiplied his power by 20 with it before, from and in a movie, he even got it up to times 100. What a badass! The Genki Dama, or Spirit Bomb, is potentially his strongest attack, but it requires considerable time. Unlike yeah. Instant Transmission, which is a teleport that's... Uh, Instant. The way it works is Goku detects another person, like a sort of beacon, then teleports to their location by launching himself through an alternate dimension where time stands still. Yes, according to the Daisenshu guidebook, yeah. it's a dimension hop. You can actually see this in that between spaces when you think and about games. It. And the dubs wanted us to think it shot Goku's molecules around at light speed. Silly <laughs> English. The dubs did more than that. In fact, early dubs of Dragon Ball Z Can't tried really to rewrite Goku probably. as a Superman figure. Even his famous speech on Namek about being the light in the darkness was originally about him yeah, coming to terms with his Saiyan heritage. Accepting his anger and pride, avenging his people by defeating Frieza, and declaring himself the Super Saiyan. Hell yeah! For now. If there's any scene that deserves the word, I mean, epic, it is the most iconic. Went gold. Super Saiyan and its mm -hmm. sequels all have official oh, yeah, power players, but better, they, they threw us for a loop by turning Goku into a god. Super Saiyan God, sir. Still, I think it's the most disappointing thing from the Super Series. They should have used it better, but they didn't. Super Saiyan God should have had more meaning. <laughs> he didn't use it as much until he learned blue. I was like, this is stupid. <laughs> they just really underused his life, Super Saiyan God. Sorry. Only change things up. Goku gained Divine Key, a pure form of key unspoiled by mortal hands. Unlike normal key, it can't be detected and appears to have healing properties. Kind of like Senzu beans. Did you know one Senzu has so much healing juice it can regenerate a person's lost limbs? Yeah, it's crazy. They They're just made that out. thing, didn't God they? God Goku Moro. reached a level of power that could compete with the greatest of deities, nearly shattering the whole universe with a single clash on his first go. Dragon Ball's cosmology yeah, if is I remember unique. Though, this they model were both is said to be back, an accurate though. depiction of Universe 7, but there's a wrinkle was. there. When all of humanity went to heaven, because Boo went Boo Zerk, Fidel commented <laughs> that heaven is just as large as a universe, and the Daisenshu backs her up. And, uh, that's oh, heaven, big planet. So let's scale things up with that in mind. Doing so would make Universe 7 over 1500 times larger than our own observable universe. And yeah, Goku could destroy that, that much the first time he went God. And he didn't lose that power. He learned how to use it even better, even in base form. Now, imagine how much stronger he became when he stacked Super Saiyan on Super Saiyan God and became Super Saiyan Blue. Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan. Yeah, not saying that. Or after he trained with some almighty angels. Or when he perfected the blue hairdo and stacked Kaioken on top yeah. of that. Goku has <laughs> certainly performed great Long feats version, of God King, Breaking through hits time stop by forcing himself into the future. Holding off Infinite what? Samasu, who was a sentient timeline, defeating Jiren, who shook the entire world of Void by just walking. He even tried out Hakai, the was destruction stupid. god move that nopes you out of existence. Your <laughs> being and your soul erased from all of time and space, yeah. culminating in he his greatest form, that, 
Ultra, Ultra Instinct. Chrome Goku is an most transformation. Ever. It's a state of mind. Ultra Instinct is the highest peak of martial arts. Subconsciously yes. making optimal choices because you're in the zone. Doing without thinking. Something Goku has always been trained to do. Technically, it can be used in any form, but when perfected, yeah. Autonomous Ultra Instinct makes you untouchable. No matter what comes his way, Goku will automatically dodge, block, and counter to the best of his ability, even pushing his body well beyond his physical limits. So far Which beyond what in fact, in the Ultra power. Instinct can summon a massive avatar to defend him when his own body can't. That sounds yeah, which really is even crazy. Intense. I didn't even know that in the manga until like recently. incremental versions of it for specific uses. It's extremely difficult to maintain the full form for long. Yeah. Until you Which get to Dragon Ball like Heroes, aka Dragon Ball Fan Fiction Gone Kaioken times a thousand. Well, technically Basically. a different continuity, CC Goku is functionally a stand-in for the mainline Goku. His history and powers are the same, yeah, making his story just as much of a what-if scenario as the multiple super continuities. The only real difference is Toriyama's not really involved. This Goku used instant transmission that to teleport through way. time and dimensions. So he outsped a god who could see the future. He defeated Dark King Fu, who was gonna rewrite the entire universe. Hell, this series even makes GT cool. Xeno Goku yeah. can break space <laughs> hey, time just by going super <laughs> I saw Saiyan a few episodes four. of that. Looking back like, at that yeah. goofy monkey boy chopping wood and punching dinosaurs it's almost overwhelming to think about how far goku has come how oh, much yes. he's had to face but no matter the challenge he takes it head on and pushes through showing everyone everywhere how to go even further beyond that's why we love goku all right faster than a speeding bullet more powerful than a locomotive it's a bird it's a plane it's no Superman. Superman. Geez, just a locomotive? <laughs> People in the 40s needed bigger imaginations. Born on the far-off world of Krypton, the infant Cal L was sent to Earth by his parents, uh, narrowly escaping Krypton's back destruction. Back Raised by farmers 40s. as Clark Kent, he eventually became Superman, Superman, champion of the oppressed, the man of tomorrow. If you've only seen the movies, forget them. Comic book Clark's not the perfect Boy Scout, yeah. and he's definitely not Jesus. Wait, weren't the guys who made him Jewish? Jerry Siegel and Joe yeah. Schuster were sons of Jewish immigrants and grew up yeah. in a time when anti-Semitism went largely unchallenged. And then oh, that ugly yes. mustache Until showed up. Recently. Understandably seeking escape from some truly terrifying horrors, the pair created Superman to be a simple solution to overwhelming problems. A hero who could defeat any evil by just punching it. Hell yeah, that's how I live my life. <laughs> After almost nine that's decades, funny. Superman it's has been true. many things. At the core, his story is one of a refugee, a child who lost his home, left to the mercy of alien people. This new world accepted him, raised him, gave him a new home, because helping others in need is the right thing to do. That's why he became a superhero, the first superhero. Everything's gotta start somewhere, but he was the first one to really take off. I mean, not literally. It took a while, actually, before he learned how to fly. In fact, when oh, yeah. Clark discovered his Kryptonian heritage, he struggled to accept it and subconsciously developed mental blocks, severing him from his true power, which he would uncover throughout his life. He's strong enough to shoulder press the weight of the Earth for five days straight, or crush coal into perfectly cut diamond. That's not how that works. He's fast enough to reach the edge of the universe in seconds, or even break the bonds of infinity. Wait, he can okay. do all that, but Batman can punch him out? Really? I mean, we know why. It's because he's Batman. Come on. We know that's the reason why. Because he's Batman. Let's be real. Of course Batman can do that. You're probably thinking of Elseworld stories outside main canon like Dark Knight Returns. It's a good question though. Superman's powers have fluctuated over time for a variety of reasons. Yeah. However, for Death Battle, we take the characters at their best. Yeah. But you're very inconsistent on doing that, which is the problem. Like I said, you didn't do that for Megatron when he was fighting Frieza. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You're not always consistent in doing that yourselves, Death Battle. I'm pretty sure a lot of people can agree with me on that. Some may disagree, but I'm just saying. <laughs> Anyways, let us continue.
Now his breath is so powerful he can sneeze away a solar system or blow air cold enough to freeze ghosts. Speaking of, his x-ray vision doesn't just see through walls. He can see through your own body and mind to examine your soul. And yet, he can't see through lead. That's okay, though. He can just burn through yeah. it with his face. You gotta give him some his really power from the yellow uh, sun. His downsides. heat vision burns with the fire of a star. And if beams aren't enough, he can blast it out of his whole body for a super flare. It used mm -hmm. to totally drain him, but he's learned how to control it. Simple. Yeah, that was one of the, I remember correctly. That was one of the... That was one of the hit back in New 52, I believe. If I remember correctly. I remember they mentioned it in the last time they did this, so but I think that's where that came from at least. Superman's powers defy physics. My favorite examples of this are when he rebuilt the reality warping miracle machine from memory. Or punched Brainiac oh, so yes. hard every version of him <laughs> felt it through all of time. Speaking of memories, I will never get over that st what I heard in Final Crisis, right? When he went back into the future to saw a wishing box, remembered how to create it, and cr went back to present day and created it perfectly in every way. I was like, <laughs> man, Superman, you you got good ass memory. You got good, more good memory than me. And people would be surprised what I'd be remembering sometimes. When he gained 10 years worth of medical training through only 5 minutes of reading, and then successfully performed lung surgery. Nice. My favorite example <laughs> is when he smelled brownies in North Dakota from orbit. Even beyond his powers, Superman is no novice when it comes to the intricacies of battle. He's trained in Kryptonian martial arts, which uses G, or as they call it, Shriar. He even got summoned to Asgard to fight demons with Thor for a thousand years. Superman can resist <laughs> being erased that from existence, canon, such as tanking Darkseid's Omega Beams. Mm -hmm. Even Retcon no, no, and the Time Trapper, both of which hijack and alter mm -hmm. timelines, can't touch him. Not because of his powerful mental defenses or healing factor, but because he's a cosmic linchpin in the greater metaverse. Timelines Wait, literally what? revolve around him. But let's address the S-shaped elephant in the room. Uh, you may have noticed we've covered a variety true. of Superman eras. Superman and yeah. DC Comics as a whole. Hold up. That's Superboy Prime. You could say that's still Superman, but if you're going for main continuity, just saying, this is Superboy Prime. I'm not sure if you want to really want to count that. Whatever. Have gone through multiple retcons. Golden Age, Silver Age, Pre-Crisis, Post-Crisis, New 52, Rebirth, and so on. It would help to know which one is the main Superman, right? Well... Yeah, right! At least we all can figure it out. That's the problem I have with DC. They can't really establish a main continuity properly. Unlike Marvel. Marvel at least has reasons for like, yeah, here's the main Marvel Universe, here's Earth-616. It's the main Marvel new Marvel continuity right here, and there's other stuff here that's what ifs or all multiverse bullshit. So yeah, they bring back the Ultimates now, so that's also great. But with DC, it's like it's never clear. Not from my experience from seeing that. It's like it's never clear where's the main continuity. They all are. Yeah, the latest reboots basically said everything in the main series is kind of canon, even when he had wacky powers like changing his appearance with a. Super muscular control. Yeah, you. Well, you I know, guess he can still phase through at this almost point anything, he's even people. Him how Look, how if you really dig be. into it, this isn't new. Plenty of yeah. characters have recalled events from supposedly retcon timelines before. Yeah, post-crisis soups did start as less powerful than in pre-crisis, but that was because of the mental blocks. Though he's not a complete composite, there's so like many he, other Superman like out there. Future Superman, Earth. Big Robot Superman, Kami Superman, Superman, Dinosaur <laughs> Superman. <laughs> There's a bunch. Superman. Still, yep. this new canon has huge, a huge ass multiverse. For example, he and other Kryptonians can effortlessly travel through time. And while Superman's powers stem from the Earth's yellow sun, yeah. exposure to a blue star increases them even further. In fact, upon visiting yeah, yeah. a white star, he attained a whole new level of power. When that old baldy Lex teleported him to another galaxy, Superman just popped back up, saying space time has lost its meaning for him. He really just, <laughs> just said that. Which is bullshit. Superman honestly. defies <laughs> physics. Like when he used heat vision to restart the universe by making an all new Big Bang. We've seen that his universe has a radius okay, of yeah, at least 100 trillion light years, but we can calculate a more exact figure. The DC universe is 15 billion years old and expands yeah. at 60 trillion light years per half second. This means its radius must be over 50 non million light years across. 
Not the what? That's 31 zeros, and soups help make that happen. Well, about one fifth of it. That's still one immense fifth. power, but if you now, want something bigger, bigger, here's, here's the Anti Monitor blasting Golden Age Superman with all the energy of the antimatter universe. And then mm. Superman, you know, punched him. So hard, Punch it kick-started another one of those reboots. Now, yeah. Superman does have weaknesses. There's kryptonite, of course, no, and exposure to red starlight can fade his powers over time. That's not not all at once. He has been able to move planets around while under a red star. So... And everyone yes. knows Superman can't deal with magic. But it's more accurate to say it's he really doesn't really have good. any special resistances to it. He's defeated plenty of magic users before, even Shazam. Superman challenges the idea that absolute power corrupts absolutely. He's the goodest good guy of them all, but there is nuance to being good. Even if he is the ultimate power fantasy, unstoppable and incorruptible. Such as when he took on the World Forger, one of the most powerful reality shapers in all of creation. Who was in the sixth dimension, crafting a whole new multiverse to replace the one Clark calls home. Who's gonna stop him? Superman could, and the Forger knew it. So he was trapped on a world with a sun so distant he could never escape. Or so the Forger thought. Instead, yeah. Clark found the strength he needed to fly at that sun, dip through a ton of stars, KO the World Forger, and shatter his new multiverse with a single punch. Oh, that's because great. that's Superman, a simple solution to overwhelming problems. He's the kind of person to save a cat from a tree, answer Christmas yeah. cards from strangers, and tow hundreds of planets to a new galaxy all on the same day. Yes, of course. What's not to like? <laughs> Truth and Except justice has that no better champion down. than the Man of Steel. Yeah. This episode of Death Battle right. is sponsored by Let's BetterHelp. Skip, we'll skip to the to the fight. Judging from everything, I still think he's uh, Superman's gonna win this one. Oh! <laughs> Fighter of animation. Today's the day. We'll finally settle who's stronger. <laughs> if you say so. Just how powerful I really am. <laughs> I'll okay. hey, what the fuck? What was that? By the way, Xana Movers is actually not doing too bad of a Superman job. You just how powerful I really am. <laughs> oh, Super Saiyan 4. Okay. Oh, the first is another version of Superman. That sounds like that sounds like Mazako X for a second. Huh. Okay. <laughs> Like a job. <laughs> Another one. Goku Black versus um. Hmm. Which version of Superman is that? Interesting. Still, dude. I love it though. I just do find it funny what they're doing. <laughs> they're hitting each other and fighting each other so hard here. They're actually breaking fabrics of of reality to see other versions of themselves in the multiverse fighting. <laughs> We're seeing glimpses of other versions of fighting in the multiverse from this. What, which one is this? Cosmic, ooh, Cosmic Armor Superman. And Zeno Goku. Ooh. <laughs> 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 
back so hard, he's back on the planet. And, and blew up his shirt. Well, what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome! <laughs> nice Classic suit. Goku. Oh, uh, thanks. Kryptonian fabric. My mom made it for me. <laughs> <laughs> and now he's like, I'm gonna hold him back. Ooh. Here's Ultra Instinct! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Shit, I'm off. Yeah. This is going to be epic. Oh my god, you tore that one like a moderator. Ooh! Oh, he's blocked. Oh. Uh. Start going the galaxy for the stars. Finally. Seem out of character for him to do with Ultra Instinct, though. Doesn't seem right. Yeah, just just saying. I don't think he would need. But whatever. <laughs> Almost had Saw it coming. There. That was actually pretty fun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it sure was. But I'll be stronger next time. I look forward to it. Mm. Let's go again. You're on. Yeah. I like that ending. I like that ending, though, actually. Very wholesome ending between those two. I like it. That's it! The final indisputable answer! <laughs> uh, who am I kidding? People are gonna argue this one forever. There are uh, so many ways enough. this battle can go, especially with That's all true. the other continuities. Yeah, for mm -hmm. real, Goku would kick almost every other Superman's ass. Okay, at least they finally admit it. At least, yeah, that was the thing. Depending on which version, Goku could actually beat Superman. Main continuity? Probably not, because Silver Age isn't continuity. And so <laughs> Except for the main one. There's a lot to cover, yeah, that's so let's I mean. address the five categories most representative of this mm. fight. First up, Stray. strength. Both Probably can hit Superman. hard enough to break or make their whole universe, or take it in stride, like when Superman got smacked by the whole antimatter universe. At most, Dragon Ball's universe is 1,505 times larger than our own, but based on the DC Universe's officially established age and rate of expansion, it is 1.6 vigentillion times larger, over a novemdecillion times more than Goku's. At some point, you reach a number high enough that it just doesn't mean anything anymore. Um, anyway, Goku's obviously gotten stronger since the Beerus fight. Even yeah. by billions or trillions of times, he's defeated Jiren, Broly, Moro, and Fu. But even yeah. if we We're eyeball Goku by quadrillions too. or quintillions of times, the gap is just too much. Especially with the World Forger feat. Not even heroes can beat with that. Superman mm -hmm. takes the edge in strength. But strength yeah. isn't everything. Let's talk speed. Both are obviously way faster yeah. than light, but Superman crossed that mega-sized universe of his in seconds and this flew like faster than infinity. Video. Makes sense. He can keep up with the Flash, whose speed is so ludicrous it's unquantifiable. Don't count Goku out, though. Yeah, Flying across silly. the entire afterlife in base form and outspeeding Eos's future sight takes some yeah. crazy speed. Fighting Zamasu as an omnipresent merged timeline also implies immeasurable speeds. That Combined mm -hmm. with instant transmission and ultra instinct, could too. probably keep up. Maybe. Quantifiably, Superman too. is faster, but both are immeasurable. 
The safest bet here is to say they tie in speed. Especially when we look at skill. Goku's okay, a martial Goku, arts master. He's definitely go, got be better battle instincts. He wants to fight and is dedicated to his training, while Superman sees training as a means to an end. Superman's knowledge in pressure point combat and Kryptonian martial arts are impressive, but he's only used yeah, them a few I'm times. Like it would be he's disingenuous really shiny to say he's an equivalent that. master at that. So Goku wins yeah. in skill, but not necessarily in experience. Don't yeah. get it wrong, Superman is not a mindless brawler. He's trained no. with Batman and Wonder Woman. He's even defeated no, martial arts experts bad. like Cobra without powers. Goku has spent decades training, but <laughs> Superman battled Norse demons for a thousand years. He's also astonishing. Well, is, that, is that canon, though? Just asking. I don't know. I don't think that's canon unless someone can tell me. Brilliant. Like when he reassembled the reality warping miracle machine from yeah. memory. Experience <laughs> obviously nothing, goes yeah, to Superman. Final crisis, but yeah. perhaps less obvious is our last category powers. powers. Okay, Spirit Bomb, Mafuba, Instant Transmission, God uh, Key, Oh, God well, okay, so he did learn a Kai in, in, in the manga. Okay, that part I didn't know. Hmm. Well, you think for something like that, it would have been more useful in, in this fight, but. It doesn't seem like a thing Goku would use too often anyway. Does Goku not win with those? In Dragon Ball, Ki is dependent on physical ability, so it's different from magic. God Ki is simply pure Ki. And magic isn't an auto win against Superman anyway, whose greater strength could break out of something like the God Bomb. Mafuba and the Spirit Bomb would take way too long, and Goku's never successfully used Takai before. Even if he did land it, okay. Superman's impossible to erase from reality. Like, he's tanked Omega. Don't know. I I wouldn't necessarily agree with that, honestly. Yeah, that's a stretch. Mega beams, which do the same thing as a guy. Superman can time that's travel, countering instant turns. That's a, it's basically the same thing as Sano saying he can't die because he's banned from the realm of Mistress Death. But this, this, and this can happen. Tim, and yet somehow Darkseid was still able to kill him in that death battle. Just saying similar ability from heroes. And regarding teleporting him to a red star, ignoring the fact that Sans can't breathe in space, though Goku's certainly tough enough to withstand a vacuum, instant transmission requires another person to Yeah, that's very inconsistent as well, if I'm being honest. To any red star. Even if he did, Superman could simply fly away and find a blue or white star for a supercharge. And Goku could not pull off the same trick twice, as Superman could phase through his attacks. So, that's it then. Clark has too many counters, so he takes the edge in powers and it's over. Well, I think there's something else. Goku what, versus what Superman what? breaches a broader zeitgeist. It's more than just two characters fighting. For a whole generation, especially in 90s America, superheroes represented an unyielding status quo. Spider-Man, Batman, Captain America rarely change who they are or what they believe in. For a lot of people, that's tiring, True. and Superman is an icon of that. Then along came anime. There was a whole other world of ideas and stories for us sheltered Westerners to experience, and Goku's an Very icon true. of that. So while many see this as a debate between characters, yeah. others see it as a debate of ideologies and culture. And if that's what's at stake, I mean, I can who see wants that. Goku to lose? Uh, true. You're sure you're not overthinking this? It's not nah. our intent, but it does call into question what <laughs> no. we're doing. How can people agree yeah, with Goku I mean, take us? Here's the real question. Why are you doing this for a third goddamn time when we already know the result? <laughs> Just saying. Fact, when fiction relies on interpretation, are we stripping characters of their importance by simplifying them to contestants in a vacuum of violence? And if so, then what's the point? Because it's fun, <laughs> Wiz, damn it, man! That's also There's true. more than one way to appreciate something. <laughs> We're having a great time talking about awesome characters and slamming action figures together. Yeah. And that's okay. Yeah, yeah. You're right. I'm just saying, no matter who you prefer, that battle was super, man. That's the worst pun. Why did fits them both? It's so <laughs> like, lame. I don't see yeah, you, but you doing right. any better. Right. I do the math. The pun's your job. Well, maybe if yeah. you math as good as I punned, then Goku would have won. What is wrong with you? <laughs> uh, Hi, I'm Ben, the voice of Wiz. Mm. Thank you so much for watching. We yeah. are about to announce the next episode, but before we do that, if you're not yeah, a death penalty... Next episode? Huh. You think this would be the final one of the year, considering it's Superman vs. Goku, the third one they're doing. You think that would be the final one they'd be doing for this year? I mean, what could you, what could, you could top that? It was a short fight. It was cool as shit. Thought they would have done more, but yeah, it's cool as shit. But you know, what could what could possibly they do for like the last one of the year then? Hmm. Click that join button below. See what you're missing.
next time. The season 10 finale. Who, who is it? Galactus? Oh, they're finally doing it! They're finally doing this. Yeah. Galactus versus Unicron. The number one most requested matchup in death battle history. Yes! Let's fucking go. I've been wanting to see this one for a while now. Galactus versus Unicron. <laughs> uh, Marvel's got Planet Eater versus uh, Devil of the Transformers universe. <laughs> My money's on U Unicron for this one. <laughs> Just saying. But it's a, actually, that's, I'll react to that one too, let me be honest. I'll react to that one too. That's going to be a good one to probably react to here. Yeah. On to, you know. But for now, let's talk about Goku vs. Super. So yeah, not much else to really say about this one. Epic fight. I definitely give it a 9 out of 10. I like the fight. I already knew the result. I'm not like how I was like uh, like 8 years ago. But, I mean, at least they admitted, okay, yeah. In some f aspects, or depending on which version you're, you're using, Goku would win. But like if you're using like like main like versions like Silver Age or Main Continuity, yeah, Superman would probably win, yeah, which I can agree to at this point, especially because Silver Age when I when I see more and more into it is like Silver Age was broken, so, but, excuse me, but yeah, Wills was more or less right. I'd say he's more right on the end what he said and about I was the icon thing. I definitely agree with that, and yeah, I will say though. I forgot to mention. Yeah, like I said, the ending, I like a lot. I was like, oh, that was a good fight. Maybe I'll get you next time. Huh. I definitely. I look forward to it. And doing the fist. Let's go again. Fist bump. <laughs> First time we get a wholesome ending like that. <laughs> yeah. I'm surprised, though. Uh, they didn't use... Uh, there's something going on with Masako X that I'm not aware of. Because they don't, he doesn't really do the voices for Goku that, like they used to in Death Battle anymore. Huh. That's why I find it be odd. Xander Mobis stole that cop one coming up for it. They got him to do Superman. They got uh, Persona 5 Joker to do Superman. That sounds great. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, dude, he did, he, did, he, was, he did solid. He did solid as Superman. Give him that. Good for you, Xander. You did a good job. But, uh, man. This death battle, I'd say, probably the better ones. There's a lot of good death battles that came out this year, honestly. Well, the pr previous two ones, yeah. Cur I like the Courage one. I like the other ones. I like the Cole versus uh, Alex Mercer. Those ones were good as well. Like, I like Obito versus Darth Vader, but that one was still weird to me why I decided to pair those two up together. But, hey. but man, I cannot wait for this next one, then. Unicron versus Galactus. That's going to be an epic one if they're doing that as a finale. This one was great, too. We already knew the results, but at least they made a dope-ass fight for it. Oh, man. Man, oh, man. Uh, that's about I'll give you credit for this one, then. I think there's some inconsistencies with that research, but, uh, whatever. Like I said, I already said that, but before like you're yeah, not always consistent and sometimes are can tend to be wrong but hey we can figure as much but hey just saying we can agree to disagree on things at this point that's why that's what i learned as i got older since the last time i reacted to the last superman versus goku one so yeah in any case don't have really much else to say that's pretty much most of what i got to say cool fight new figured what the result would happen didn't expect the ending we got though like the wholesome ending yeah but in any case for those who are watching, let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Like this video if you like this reaction. Hopefully better than my last time, the last one. And tune in for more because I will be doing more reactions when I remember to upload them. So yeah, so please, please subscribe that makes life happy. If you do, you're awesome. But in any case, that's all I really have to say. For those who are watching, thank you for watching. And until next time, I'm out.